For those who have access to the US base, they have access to cheaper fuel. They do have like the Mango app, which is a language learning app. Then over to the commissary site. So Starbucks, there's like Dunkin' Donuts, Taco Bell, Popeyes. Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're a little American family living out our dream of life abroad and currently called Germany our home. If you've been following along, we recently made a trip to Prague in the Czech Republic. We experienced some car problems on the way there, but eventually made it and explored the beautiful streets for the next few days. <laughs> I don't know how you can see these views and not fall in love with the city. On our last day, Tanner joined roughly 10,000 other runners to complete one of the most beautiful and international marathons in the world. It was his first full marathon and a great but painful way to end the trip. In this video, we wanted to highlight our unique situation of living abroad in Germany and working for the US government at an army base. Hey guys, welcome to our house. It has been a long time since we filmed here. Kind of feels weird doing it. We've been like traveling all over Europe and yeah, it's been a long time. But we're excited to do this video with you guys because we've lived in Germany for over a year and I feel like there's still a lot that we haven't shared with you guys. In today's video, we're gonna focus on the five top things that we consider perks working and having access to a US military base while living over here in Germany. Because there are a lot of differences between the economies in Europe and in the States, there are some cost differences too. So, so in today's video, our hope is to be candid, open about this situation because we do have a lot of benefits having access to the base and have a lot of benefits to having access to all of the things on the local economy. It's true, we consider ourselves pretty lucky and if you've been following, you've probably heard about some of these perks, mainly in our Moving to Germany series and then also in our Q&A vlog. So if you wanna watch more, go and watch those videos. Today we're gonna to be covering other perks that those ones don't include. Before being offered and even before applying for the job over here in Germany, we had no clue that there were so many perks. We knew a few of them, we knew that it was in Europe, that was it felt right for us, but if we had known these other ones, we probably would have applied even faster because oh, yeah. there was just a lot of advantages. Number one, gas. Now, if anyone has traveled to Europe before, you know that the US gas prices are much lower than they are here in Europe, and so that kind of comes as like a sticker shock for most people when they fill up and they're like, oh, it's only like, you know, one euro but it's like a liter, so it can be quite a bit. Right now, if we were to fill up on the local economy, it would be roughly two euros and 10 cents per liter. And if you convert that all the way to dollars per gallon, you're over $8 per gallon. So it's quite a bit, which is roughly the price of the average price per gallon of fuel that is in the US. And right now that's significantly higher than it normally is, but it's the same for Europe. So everyone is feeling that, but we're paying roughly about $5 per gallon for fuel, whereas on the economy it's like eight and a half dollars per gallon so it's like crazy fortunately we're not only limited to the gas stations that are on base but so has worked out a deal where we can fill up our so fuel card fill it up with prepaid money and then get that same discount at any SO station within Germany. Now, yes, you can imagine that saves a lot, especially where we're traveling to Northern Germany, Southern Germany, even surrounding EU countries, because we can fill up at the last station in Germany, go travel around, maybe have to fill up once or half of a tank in one of those other countries, and then come back in and fill up at the much cheaper discount. So that really has been a huge money saving for us and a lot of the reason why we can travel as much as we have. By far, I would say the biggest money saving. Number two, free gym access. And this is unique to living abroad because back in stateside, typically only civilians and not their spouses get access to the gym. So I couldn't have went when we lived in the States to the gym for free. And I really enjoy having it here. It's particularly nice during the winter times. Here in the summertime, I feel like I'm just taking advantage of the hills around our house, which I really love. But man, during the winter, the gym can be really beneficial to get out, get a workout in. And it's nice that it's free. So I was interested on how much a gym membership on average costs in the States. So I giggled it and it was about 50 to $60 per month. So this isn't like a huge saving. Of course you would never choose to live abroad because you get free gym membership, but it's just another additional perk. Not to mention that you get free access to a lot of workout classes, which back in the States in the gyms is almost always an additional cost to go to those. So we don't know what it's like here in Germany. We haven't had a need to look into it, right? But we have seen like yoga studios and other specific like fitness studios and they all are gonna have a price per class or you know a group package for it and it adds up quick at least in the states 
it really does. Not only are we saving $50 to $60 a month, we're also saving additional costs by being able to have access to Zumba or HIT, cycling classes, yoga, etc. So number three, there's a library on base and we get a free library card. Not a huge deal because we can go to a German library, but our first language is English. And so it's just really nice to have a wide variety of English books. Also some Spanish ones there, which is nice. Yeah, a big, large database for English books. And then we can go to a German library and have so many German books. So it's pretty nice to have both, especially with a toddler. Not to mention that the libraries are also online. So we mm -hmm. don't only only have to stick with the books that there are in person and the books are shared between all of the libraries within Europe so if you wanted a book that was on the other side of Germany they'll just ship it over which is mm -hmm. kind of fun because there's a lot more variety and a lot of language learning opportunities even though that English mm -hmm. and Spanish books they do have like the Mango app, which is a language learning app and several other applications that you can like rent for free. Mm -hmm. So that's another advantage to having an access to like a big library like that one. Number four is the post office. We still use our German address for a lot of things, but there are certain situations where the PO box is much better. One primarily when you're trying to order some things from the States and you want it sent to the PO box, you can typically get it free shipping. Now shipping can cost a lot, especially if you're trying to send something to our house so family members can send it to our P.O. box. It's a U.S. based address even though it's over here and that makes shipping much easier. We know the system. It's very easy, honestly. It's something we don't take a huge advantage of but enough that it's really nice to have. There's like those rare occasions where we have a product that we really love. It's tried and true and we can just order it from a U.S. store, especially if it has free statewide shipping. Well, that includes us so it's really nice. We really do try and like immerse ourselves in the culture here and look to see what's available here, but some things are just not accessible here. So that's when it really comes in handy. And then not to mention just sending stuff home to our family and friends. Like we've sent boxes of European chocolate and that would have cost far more if we wouldn't have had that. And instead we can get just like a cost per box. It doesn't matter the weight with those. It's just a certain cost per box and you shove it full and send it off and they're happy. Number five is the commissary or the grocery store and then the exchange, which is kind of like a mini American shopping mall. These two stores are typically next to each other and offer a wide selection of American based products. In fact, I'm pretty sure almost everything has to come from America, although there are certain products like fruits, vegetables, dairy products that do come from the local areas. And this just gives Americans who live on post an opportunity to shop somewhere really close have items that they're familiar with. Of course, we double dip. We go mm -hmm. into the German economy most, and then the occasion where I'm at work, it's just easy for me to stop by and get groceries. We'll definitely go there and take advantage of it. The PX or Post Exchange is, like I mentioned, a mini shopping mall. There are American fast food restaurants there, and then a wide selection, kind of like a Walmart of all things, mm -hmm. where they have lots of products that people can go there for home, for kitchen, clothes, food, etc. I think a couple of fun and interesting things to include in here is that there's actually like an electronic section here into like the PX and that's been really nice. For example, I got a new iPhone there and it's tax free. So that's like a big plus is you can oftentimes get things at a discounted rate. If we were to do that at a Walmart in the States, of course we'd have to pay tax. And so it made it cheaper to buy it there on base, even compared to in Europe or, you know, online. And then Tanner mentioned the fast food joints. I wanted to share what they are just because I think it's fun. So Starbucks, there's like Dunkin' Donuts, Taco Bell. Popeyes. Popeyes, which is like a fried chicken. Out of all of them, actually, that's the one that I tend to miss which I think if we've only got it, maybe like two to three times. And that was like during the first few months that we were here. Yeah, so like that just shows you like I'm almost never on base other than the gym and sometimes the grocery store. Not only is there just those restaurants, there's also a couple other little shops where you can buy like local things. So there's like German Christmas store stuff where you can buy like decorations, fun paintings. Yeah, seasonal products where mm -hmm. vendors can come and they can sell other products to people who haven't gone out or I mean just in general there's things like I think you could probably even order like Lederhosen of course we're in Bavaria but like Rissa said paintings I think you can do jewelry I think there's like phone accessories etc like there's it's quite random sometimes but it's kind of unique as well and then depending on the base there's like laundromats or like a hair stylist people you know cutting your hair or selling just like military uniforms stuff like that then over to the commissary side Tanner mentioned that occasionally he'll stop there I just wanted to highlight that that's most 
mostly for like Mexican products, even some of the produce. Cilantro tends to be kind of hard to find in the German stores and it's just a smaller quantity and so getting it there at the commissary is actually our best option. And then we have found that the produce tends to last longer at the American stores. We still, we really do still shop mostly at the German places, but when he's there, you know, I'll be like, grab a couple more things because they last a bit longer, which is interesting. There's just different brands. If we're really missing a certain American brand, well, we get it because they do a, a pretty good job of filling the shelves, especially, you know, the middle shelves, the sh long lasting food products of the typical American favorite brands. Well, there you have it guys. Those are our five top things that we think are advantages or perks for working on a US military base here in Germany. We love living off post. Absolutely mm -hmm. love that we're not so close to everything that it's like mini America. But for some families and for some people, like that's what they really enjoy and appreciate. And sometimes they don't even have a choice. Like they have to live there. So we know that that's a huge perk for us as well is we get to have both of the best in our opinion where we have advantage to save money. We have some things that are very familiar to us. There's a lot of unique opportunities for working and living over here in Europe but still getting that experience in the German economy and on the basis. With that though, I'd have to say that I am proud of us for really immersing ourselves as much as we can and have so far in the German culture and the German experience because it is really easy to get caught up in the little American base. And we know a lot of coworkers that just, that's what they do and they don't really branch out. And so don't come at us because we work really hard to you know, immerse ourselves in the culture. And I'm proud of us, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I agree. And we definitely know that this is much different than someone who would come over mm -hmm. working for a German company. Like we, we don't even oh, yeah. want to really compare it to that. In, in reality, this is, you know, not to throw our name there, you know, this is our story to tell about like our lives, right? That's the whole basis behind mm -hmm. our channel is to share our experiences. And no, this isn't a blanket covering every expat American or expat right. that comes to Germany or Europe in general but this has been our story and it's been really fun to share. Honestly, like I think we've done a really good job of immersing ourselves in the German culture. So yeah, that's why we wanted to share is just have this candid conversation with you guys and let you in a little bit more into what our lives are like here in Germany. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments what else you're curious about. What questions do you have? Is there anything that comes to your mind? Ask it below. We'll try and answer it in a future video. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a great week. See ya.